Hi there! Today I'm going to be doing a review for the Sigma makeup this brush. right here is actually my own Sigma full kit. And it comes with the, I forgot what it's called, a brush thingy, a brush roll, and the full kit. I remember I actually bought the whole kit without the brush roll and it was around $70. So with the brush roll be around $80 including shipping for myself. I think shipping was around maybe around five to ten dollars. I'm not really sure to remember this. It's been months. This kit is amazing. And what I usually do right after I finish it is have a rag at hand. And the reason for this is it will just keep your brushes looking nice and clean and I usually just kind of go like that. As you can see it's dirty. I just kind of go like that and afterwards I kind of soak it in like um, detergent for a while and then wash it so it's nice and white. It's basically what I do right after I use it. So after I put eyeshadow, swipe it off and keep it clean. And that will just prolong the life of your brushes and keep the bristles nice and pretty and healthy and you know yeah. So I think that I have used that one. I have used every single one of these brushes except for the lip brush right here because I really don't use a lot of lipstick. Since I don't use a lot of lipstick, I haven't really used it yet. So I just kept it in the little covering. And seriously, this is all you need. I have a box of other brushes that I don't use anymore because this is the essentials to all that you need. So if you're one of those people who don't want to buy just a bunch of useless brushes, then definitely get this. For me, I love it. It actually comes with this kabuki brush, softest kabuki brush I've ever used. I actually have a kabuki brush from um, Bare Minerals and it sucks butt because it's really hard. And I hated using it because it was so nasty and hard. But this is really this soft. It's an awesome translucent powder from Forever Makeup Forever. And it minimizes your pores, eliminates oil. It is the all-around perfect translucent powder that you can get. Better than the Mineral Veil. Better than anything that I've ever used. This is amazing. It just gives your face this flawless, flawless look. Makeup Forever if you want to get it. Anyways, back to the Kabuki. This is what I use. They use them together. Thin layer on my face. And voila. I'm done. This is amazing. I seriously give it a 5 out of 5 because I do have MAC brushes and they're not as soft. Except for this one actually. This one is kind of not as dense as the MAC 187. But I like this little one because it gets to all the crevices. Yeah, these are my... Actually I use this for foundation, like the stippling, and this is my little blush brush. And this one, I use it for my br my blush or my um, bronzer if I don't really want a lot because, you know, it's like fluffy. And then this one, I use when I like to contour. And then I have this one for my liquid foundation. I sometimes like to use this for my shimmery powder to put it above my cheeks and temple and bridge my nose. And then these are basically just eye brushes. My previous video, I basically just use all this because it's all that I have. I hope that is helpful. I love them. They're soft. They last, they've been lasting me pretty long. Minimal, minimal shedding. Basically, once in a while, I'll get like one piece of hair that falls out. And that's really satisfying. I am really satisfied. So I've used NYX. I've used MAC. I have the e.l.f. one. What else do I have? I have the Bare Essential. So this is the best out of all of them. I have an extra one that I am giving away today. So, same thing, I'll let you guys see it. This is what it looks like. Full, nice, new, never used. And the giveaway comes with a free Kabuki brush. And it comes with this elf thingy. All right comes with this little thing and it talks about, okay, 
You have acquired a high quality product designed to exceed your expectations. Here are some important tips on how to clean and maintain your brushes. And this is where I got the little tip that I just showed you. Dust or wipe off excess makeup left over your brushes after each use. Use a soft cloth or tissue to take care not and take care not to pull on the bristles to roughly build up causes brushes to lose effectiveness and the bristles to break down. Store your brushes in a case or a bag to prevent dust buildup. The Sigma brush roll is designed specifically to accommodate and preserve your Sigma makeup brush collection. Clean your brushes regularly using a commercial brush cleaner or a combination of warm water and mild shampoo. Reshape the bristles after washing and lay flat to dry. Cleaning regularly inhibits bacteria growth and prevents bristle corrosion. Ready to get started? Enjoy your Sigma makeup brushes. So, this is a little tip, really helpful. I obviously followed it, the new kit. Yep, that's it. Put it in this bag. I will probably just raffle off comments. So, what you guys can do is simply comment below. And just comment whatever you like. And I'll just pick up a random person. I'll probably draw a couple and then pick a random person from that because I know that there'll be a lot of comments. There usually is when there are giveaways. Remember to comment below to win. Really short video. Hope you guys enjoy it.